day for you guys. Now, with our board breaking days, we have already done breaking paper. We've done hitting pillows, hitting trees outside. Um, we've given you lots of really awesome options for practicing your board breaking technique. Okay, but now today we're going to work on one that is even more different than the others. Now, I know you don't all have a bob at home. Our bob is it's being extra safe today. He is close, uh, closer than six feet from me, so he's wearing a mask. And um, so we are gonna work on our board breaks with Bob today, um, and you guys are gonna be able to use some other household objects for the exact same thing that we're about to use Bob for. Okay, so let's get started. All right, guys, so you may be asking, how are we about to work board breaks with Bob? Okay, now how we're gonna do this is we're gonna practice our kicks for our board breaks. If you have other strikes, you can set up objects in different ways that work for your board break. Okay, get creative, do something. You can build a tall stack of pillows about Bob High. You can go get your kitchen chair as long as your parents say it's okay. Make sure that whatever you grab, it's okay for you to use um, and that you're not gonna be breaking anything important at home. Okay, so this is gonna be my stack of pillows because we don't have a stack of pillows here at the studio, but Bob is pretty good. You could even use like a bunch of stuffed animals. If you have stuffed animals or toys, you can just stack them up. And what we're gonna do is we are going to knock it over, or him over, sorry. Um, so what we're gonna do is, if I'm doing a step behind side kick to poor, poor Bob, I am going to step behind, side kick. Now, my goal was to knock him over, but not to knock me over. When you're here, when your, hand, your guard is up and you're trying to knock over this chair, this, this stack of pillows, this whatever it is, if you're just pushing and you fall through like this and your foot that you just kicked with lands almost on top of this person, then you are just falling, you're just pushing into this. You're not actually striking and it will not break a board. Okay, so this is working your technique. All right, so go ahead. If you're kicking with me right now or if you're just watching to see how it's done, then you're gonna do it after the video. Either way, it's great. Um, so if you are doing it with me right now, go ahead and set your chair, your pillows back up and get your guard up. We're all gonna be working a step behind side kick right now and then I want you to get creative with your own personal board breaks with other objects after the video. Okay, so right now we're here, we're gonna step behind. Oh, go back. You gotta step behind, not in front, behind. Okay, so step behind, side kick. Did you see? I am re-chambering before I set my foot down. Okay, that makes it to where you're not falling into them. Okay, your goal is not to fall into the board, okay? 
Your fall is not going to break the board, okay? And the board is not going to break your fall. Fall will still hurt, okay? So, we're here. One more time. I want your guard up. And last thing I forgot, I'm so sorry, is a yell. So we're going to step back guard. Ah, yeah! And re-chamber. Make sure we are not pushing and falling over. That is the main goal of what we're working on today, guys. All right, so guys. Now that you know how this works, I want you to go set up after stretching, after the video is over, I want you to go set up your own target. And this is gonna be to work on your board breaking technique. So if you have a hammer fist, you're gonna have to set up, you're gonna have to set up a target that is turned. So you might even have to get two chairs and put a pillow on them and then practice breaking through without falling over onto those pillows or onto those chairs, okay? If you have any kick, making a stack of something is a great idea, okay? Just make sure whatever you do, your goal is not to fall over. Your goal is to stay standing and have strong motions, strong technique. Make sure you're hitting with the part that you're supposed to hit with on your board break. So if you have a palm heel, you're hitting with the heel of your hand, not your fingers, not the center of your hand. Make sure if you have a hammer fist, you're not hitting your wrist, that bone on your wrist, because that, that can leave bruises when you actually break your board, guys. Make sure your sidekick is hitting with your heel, okay? All these different things to think of. I want to see you guys practicing your board breaks. Also, whoever has the most creative board break is definitely gonna be a winner in my book. All right, and might even earn a prize stripe. What do you think, Bob? Okay. All right, guys, we will see y'all later and let's go ahead and stretch and then get to work.